Hey, what up, y'all? Jay on the Segway. Today video, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer videos, pictures, files, anything of that sort from Android to an actual memory card or a solid state drive and vice versa. Same thing with the Apple iPad. Now, disclaimer, you guys will not be able to use a solid state drive like these big ones, the Western Digital. You guys will not be able to use that with the iPad, okay? I have the newer iPad as of right now. It is 2023, the iPad's from 2022. It uses a USB-C cable to connect to it, to charge. And um, I've tried with my Western Digital one terabyte. If you guys know anything different, maybe the 512s work or the 256s work. But I tried the one terabyte, it doesn't even recognize it. And, like nothing happens when I connect it. So you will not be able to use those with the iPad as far as I know right now. You guys can use something more like these little smaller USB flash drives these work perfectly fine the ipad recognizes it it's no problem um disclaimer they did say online that the ipad the newer ones and the ipods i don't know about the i um the, the macbooks or anything like that they may actually work because they have a much bigger power source versus an ipad so if you guys have an ipod or um i mean an ipad that's bigger because i have the ipad mini and you've connected uh, a solid state drive to it then Put it in the comments below so anybody watching this video can um, actually get a little bit more information because I do not have those items with me. So here we're going to go and let's start with the Android. I'll show you guys what you need to do. So you're gonna take the adapter, the USB-C adapter, plug it into the solid state drive, hard drive, and then plug it into the USB-C slide on the side of your tablet or inside of your cell phone, wherever the USB-C plug is, you plug it in. Now, if you look on the very top of the screen, it's going to recognize, you're going to see a little USB drive. You see it? It's like a little three prong thing right next to the date on the top left corner. So now you know your USB drive is connected. So what you do is you take your finger and press it on the top of your screen and you slide it down. Okay, now you see where it says USB storage added. If you press the little arrow to the far right of it, it'll say open and unmount. Now before you disconnect these hard drives from your Android tablet or your cell phone, you wanna always press unmount first. It'll notify you that, hey, it's been dis dismounted and then you unplug it. So we're gonna hit open and then boom. Now we're looking at the far left corner here. You see it says internal storage, SD card, and USB storage one. Your phone may not say SD card. That is something that my set my tablet has built into it. It has a built-in SD card slot and I have a 128 gigabytes SD card in there. So don't pay attention to that. We're looking at internal storage and USB one storage or USB storage one. USB storage one is the one that I just connected to the tablet or the cell phone. And this is right here on the far right. You see USB storage one, it says Android recycling bin and um, system volume information. Wherever you put your videos or files or pictures, that's gonna be here in this section. For me, it's where Android is. And then I have all these little files that I've created. How do you create a file? You look on the top right where there's like three little dots on top of each other, you press them. And then you see it says create folder. You press create folder and then you create a folder and you can say a video, okay? And then um, press create. And now I have a right here on the top, it says N. It has the N next to it, which means new. That's gonna be the newest thing around that I haven't touched yet. You hold your finger down on it and now let it go. You see how it opened up a whole little different selection. You see on the bottom here, it says move, copy, share, delete, and then more. Right now we want to move or copy. If you move it, it will remove it from the internal storage completely and put it to wherever you tell it to. If you press copy, it'll just take a copy of whatever you select. Mind you, you see it says this one, it's got a check next to it, a blue check. You can select multiple videos. You don't have to select one. And this goes the same with pictures, the exact same format. We're just gonna do that one video though. I select the video and I'm gonna press copy. And then it says, now this is the same thing that's gonna happen with the USB flash drive. 
same 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 exact procedure with the android device okay there's many different ways you can play this out but that's how we're going to play this one out right here now um how do you do the same thing in reverse well if you want to take stuff off your usb hard drive you make sure you select it here on the far left right and now these are your files i'm going to press android i'm going to press video and those two files that i just put on here i'm going to put it back on my tablet you have to know where you want to put these things by the way guys you can't just have them and then just put them anywhere so i'm going to select both of them and how you select them by holding them down just hold one down until it gets that menu right there and then you make sure you select both of them so they both have two blue arrows next to them and then i'm going to press copy again however yeah i'm going to press copy remember copy just makes a copy move completely removes it from wherever you're selecting it from and then wherever you tell it you want it to go it's going to completely pick them up and move them there so it's not going to copy them now after now remember guys now that we got these two down here on the bottom now you're done right you want to finish you want to just go in and disconnect it from your tablet right no remember you have to pull down from the top of the screen put your finger on the top of the screen and pull down to get this menu okay and then you see usb storage added you click on that right arrow to the right of it you have to press unmount now look at the screen after i press unmount watch the screen it's going to let you know that it's done properly disconnecting the hard drive from the tablet i'm going to hit unmount usb drive unmounted and then you disconnect it okay people now as far as the apple goes now that we're done with the android as far as the apple tablet goes you can use the apple supplied cord you can get it from best buy and get on amazon or you can just get any regular i have here um i don't even know the brand is it phillips i have a phillips usb c to usb adapter cable now you always have to verify if your apple product is the old flash drive version as far as when you actually plug it in to charge it is it a usb c plug-in or is it a flash drive you have to identify that that's going to determine on which adapter you buy if you're going to do this with that device okay right now i have usb-c this is a newer ipad so i have to use a usb-c and um this guy doesn't work does it hasn't worked with the ipad i've tried the apple certified cable the adapter cable for usb-c to usb it did not work so you cannot use this with your newer iphone or ipad okay as far as i know like i said if you guys know different please put it in the comments below so what i did was i got the apple certified cable you do not need the apple certified cable you can use the phillips usb-c to usb cable it'll work on the ipad no problem flash drive you see this little red bad boy right here we're gonna do this next clip with the flash drive and this multi memory card reader thing right here. These two things work. I have a mini SD card slot that I use like for my GoPro. I'll take it out of the GoPro, put it in here, connect it to the iPad and the iPad reads it. Okay, so what you're about to see right now is me using it. This will work with any of these devices, but I'm gonna use the solid, I'm gonna use this little mini USB flash drive right here or this uh, USB flash drive. I'm going to plug it in to the USB adapter to USB-C. We're gonna hook it up to the iPad and let's get to the screen of the iPad. All right, people, once you have identified the cables that you are going to need for the current setup you have, whether you're using the USB flash drive or the multi SD card reader, go on ahead and find your actual charging port of your device, whether it be your phone or your tablet, plug it in. And then here we go. You want to look for the folder that says files on your main screen on your iPad. Once you go to files, you're going to look over here to your left. You see under locations, it says on my iPad and USB 20 FD. The USB 20 FD is your actual memory card or your SD card or your USB flash drive that you just connected to your, to your iPhone or iPad. So you want to go to on my iPad because you're looking for a file. Remember that you want to copy on to the USB drive, right? So find your video files or your music files or just any files. It could be data files. Doesn't matter. I'm going to pick a, a video file or in my case, it's going to be music files. <laughs> so I'm going to hold my finger down on the file that I want to copy. And then you get this menu here. So now on this menu, you're looking for copy. And then once I hit copy, then I'm going to go on ahead and press USB 20 FD on the left side under locations. Then I'm going to go on ahead and click USB 20. And then once we hit USB 20, it'll go on ahead and show me all the contents on the actual USB drive. And this is where you will select where you want that file that you just copied from your iPad to where you want to copy it to on a USB drive. And so here we have my three folders. Once again, these are folders that I've created. I will create a folder here by holding my finger down in a dark area. 
until this menu pops up and then you see where it says new folder you click new folder and you go on ahead and create a new folder and you can just make up a name for it press the little area where the words are go on ahead and delete untitled folder put you what you want to put there then go on ahead and press that folder once you press it you will be in the folder and what i do is i hold my hand in this dark area on the screen you go on ahead and hit paste and then bam there goes your file going in this folder that you just created reversing the process very easy you want to hold your finger down on that file that you just copied onto here and then you want to look for copy again you can either copy or move it just like the android then you go on and click on to the left side you look at locations hit on my ipad go on and find the folder where you want to relocate it if you want to relocate it i'm going to put it back where it came from and then I'm going to just hold my finger in any of the dark areas inside of this file cabinet. We'll call it a file cabinet. Hold your finger down in the dark area. And then you'll get the menu showing up here. Boom. And then you put paste. And it'll copy the file right back to where you're just taking it from. So that's how you take things on and off and move things around from your iPad to your memory card, your USB drive, and vice versa with the Android tablet. One, remember, once again, guys, you cannot use the Western Digital. This, These big solid state drives, they do not seem to work on iPads, okay? They may work on your MacBooks. I, will, I almost want to be 100% sure they work on a MacBook because of the power difference as far as that USB slot goes. It might work on an iPad, like a full-size iPad, 10, 11-inch iPad. This is an iPad mini, so this is what it's doing with the mini. If you have a mini, it's not going to work. Chances are, especially if you have the USB-C one, all right? Um, Android tablets, everything works on it. You know, I, I get the USB-C adapter, I can plug the solid state drive, I can plug the USB flash drive, I can take the little mini SD cards out of a GoPro or uh, your sh point and shoot camera, if your point and shoot camera uses um, any sort of memory card. And if you wanna do it like that, you do have to get that adapter that has a multi-card. You see, I got multiple slots in this one. So I can plug multiple memory cards into this and it has a USB end on the other end. And all you gotta do is get one of these adapter cables. It doesn't have to be an Apple certified. You can get the Philips one or any USB-C to USB adapter cable on Amazon, Best Buy, whatever, eBay, wherever you like to shop at, plug them into each other and then plug it into your tablet or your cell phone, Android type, okay? And um, it's gonna work, no problem. You scroll, you pull down from the top of the screen and you look, for, you identify and locate the actual USB drive. It'll prompt you and everything. A lot of this stuff is prompting and just kind of knowing the language of the actual devices you're gonna use it with, all right? If you have an Android device, I'm assuming you know somewhat of the lingo. So you click on this, you press on that, you hold your finger down on the screen, wait for the menu to pop up and it'll ask you, what do you wanna do with whatever you selected, okay? And then you just tell it what to do, all right? So anyways, Jay on the Segway, hope this video brought you value. If it did, hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this if you have any other video ideas just let me know if you have any questions let me know you can hit me up on jay on a segue on snapchat i can do like short videos if i have any of the stuff with me if i need to show you something specifically i can do that i have no problem with that but uh any questions or anything ask in the comments below uh thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next video all right peace